introduce you. Hi, I'm Selena. Welcome to my bookshelf organization and tour. I have just moved into a apartment for my school year and I got this bookshelf that's just three little tiers and it is going to house all the books that I brought with me to school. Those books. We have some guests <laughs> in the background. They're my peanut gallery. We have Mason, my boyfriend in the background, and then we have Heather, the roommate slash resident best friend. That's me, folks. Yes. Um, and so they'll just be laughing at this. You can't <laughs> see, but I have three large piles that are very precariously teetering. Um, and Mason hates that. So we're just going to get started. You're going to get to watch me put decorate this whole thing. I already put the stuff on this table. There's some Jane Austen books right there. And then I have my bookshelf. No, my bookmark holder. Okay. Let's just get to the books. Okay. Udi, I brought it. It's here. I'm not happy about it. <laughs> this is a particular favorite of Mason's. Romance. It's romance. He's a big romance reader, if you didn't know. More Udi gifts. Love it. Mason's second favorite book, right? Yeah, it's romance and this time it's gay. I just need to show these off for a second. Look at the covers. Look at the covers. Look at the covers. I've read Lord of the Rings once before, but I did not like them. But I like The Hobbit now, so maybe I will like them this time. Mason brought me this and I'm really excited to read it. It's a graphic novel. It's really cute. It's got cute art. And I've heard it's queer in some way. Debatable. Debatable, okay. Well, I mean, okay. Look, just read it for yourself. It's hard to make that judgment call, but. Oh wait, you know. this is TBR. Okay. Super excited for this one. This is also gay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Heather is now straightening up my stack because they're gonna fall. This is stupid. I have it, Udi. You <laughs> so unhappy every time you say Udi's name. I'm actually really excited for that one. Like, not that I don't want to read the others, Udi, but like yes, that one. Know, that's true. <laughs> It's not going to fall, okay? I feel like you're playing Jenga over here. Is this good content? <laughs> okay, now that we've got them sorted, now to put them on the shelves. Hmm? Took long enough. It took long enough to get them sorted. Did you like seven the, I, books? Wow. I've never put these books on this shelf ever before. It's not like I had them there before, and I'm reorganizing them just to do this video or anything. That would be absurd. <laughs> Brandy Sandy. Oh my god. Did you just call him Brandy Sandy? I always call him Brandy For everyone? Sandy. What am I supposed to call him? His name? Mason's a Sanderson fan now. I'm a reluctant Sanderson fan. A reluctant Sanderson fan, he he's may a, be. He's a good author, but the associations that I have with you and Udi bully me into reading him. I am ne have never been a bully in my life. Fun fact, I finished all three of these this month. Without staff topple, you're going to cry on camera. I will do no such thing. You're being my books are ruined. Oh my gosh. Wow. Mm -hmm. 
Now for the TBR shelf, which you can sort of see. This I want to read soon. This I don't. <laughs> Highly anticipated. What is giving you anxiety about this? If there's process? books all over, you're going to be a mess. I am going to be fine, okay? I really want to read this soon. Which one did you say when I read it? Is that Star Sight? Star Sight. And the one up there is uh, uh, Skyward? Is that it? <laughs> of a bookshelf tour. Starting on the top of this bookshelf, I have my immediate TBR. These are the rest of the books that I need to read for the month. I'm going to be reading one of the Sherlock Holmes books, the first one, um, A Sky Painted Gold, and A Kindness of Magicians, if I can get to it, and The Calculating Stars, if I can get to it. On this first shelf, we have all the books I've read that I brought to school, um, and I have a whole Sanderson shelf because I wanted Skyward and the Stormlight books to be with their brethren because I brought <laughs> Oathbringer and Starsight to read. Um, and then so I have those, and then I have the Mistborns, which Mason brought to me, and then I have the Kingdom of Back, which I loved. I gave all these books on the shelf five stars, except for these, a few of these. Duel of Fire, I gave four stars, but I just finished it. The Hobbit, I gave five stars, and Goodbye Perfect, I gave 4.5 stars. Starting off on the second shelf, I have a couple of my favorite children's classics, which I have obviously already read. Um, I have The Little Prince, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, and Through the Looking Glass, and Peter Pan. And then breaking up the books that I've read and the books that I have not read, I have this little plaque that my aunt gave to me for my birthday. And I think it's just really cute and beautiful, and so I put it on the shelf. Then I have the TBR books that I am the most excited about in the order of how excited I am about them. So as you can see, something like The House in the Cerulean Sea. I'm really excited for The Prince and the Dressmaker and Star Sight and The Rage of Dragons, as we said, Lord of the Rings, Vicious, Spinning Silver, etc. And then on the bottom shelf, we have the TBR books that I'm either less excited about or that were given to me by other people to read. Um, and so I have Three Dark Crowns here, which is a book that I've had for a while. It's one of the books I'm gonna read I have to try and read before the end of the year or I need to get rid of it. Strange the Dreamer is also in that category. And then Sorcery of Thorns, Crown of Feathers, and The Great Pursuit are all just YA fantasy that I'm excited about, but not as excited about as the other things. We have two romances here in the middle. One of them is called Boyfriend Material and the other is Well Met. These are both um, recommendations from Mason that he brought me to read because he loves them both. In this little stack here, I have all the books that Udi has either lent me or bought me that he wants me to read and Mason says forced upon me, which I'm not going to be that rude, but <laughs> I have no qualms being that rude. Wow. This Hi, is, oh my gosh, they're friends. I need to say that every single time Mason is rude. Yes, here I have I Don't Want to Kill You, which is the third book in the John Cleaver series, Promise of Blood, which is a fantasy that Udi read and really liked, and then Sunrider, which is a fantasy written by one of his friends that we are going to buddy read at some point. Then I have this little um this stamp with a in the library of selena blank um on it from the library of selena last name on it and that is a birthday present from heather yay. yay and then i brought the last two percy jackson books to loan to mason but also because i need to include them in my wrap up so that was the bookshelf tour and organization i hope you enjoyed this and i will see you in my next video bye